Hi everybody! Uh, welcome to this September Natural Magic drawing and painting tutorial. If you didn't notice, this is a dead giveaway. We are going to do the gorilla this month. Uh, so you want to make sure that you have your four pack of ink, okay? Um, and I just wanted to take a moment to make sure you guys open this very carefully. I don't want you to make any spills, but you should take one piece off at a time, okay? Uh, you'll also need your marker, your paintbrush, a little cup of water, and of course you should always have a napkin or a rag close by so you can dry your brush off. You don't want to mix up a brush in a new color without drying it off, okay? That way you have nice clean colors and you end up with beautiful, vibrant artwork. Okay, so there, just make sure you throw that in the garbage somewhere. I'm just gonna put that off to the side for now. Um, what I'm going to do next, I don't wanna start with a marker. Okay, we need a pencil. Okay, so hopefully everyone saved all their markers and pencils and paintbrushes. Um, make sure to treat them very well, okay? So the thing we're gonna start with is our gorilla's eyes, all right? And look at the gorilla, where the gorilla's eyes are compared to my picture. So it's up here, up here. So I'm gonna draw two eyes. One, two, okay? And then I'm gonna just put little circles inside of those eyes. So we just did three circles. Okay. Now, if I'm going a little bit fast, don't worry, just pause the video and do what you got to do. And then you can catch up when you're ready by starting the video again. Um, okay. Now we have a little bit of a nose. And we're going to sweep out like that and then add his nose wrinkles. Now we have an idea of where his eyebrow wrinkles should go. Okay. So they're kind of like little sausages on either side of his head. Okay. And then we're going to do the second crown of zigzags. He's, gorillas are pretty hairy, right? Gorillas are hairy creatures. Okay. So now we've got his forehead and his eyes done. Let's work our way down for a little bit and then we'll go back up to his head. So we're gonna start with a nose shape. Okay, and we're gonna put some nostrils in that nose shape and give him a little curved indent on his lip. And then, now I don't like how deep that line is. I'm going to erase it a little bit. It looks like it's cutting into his little nose, but you can leave yours if you like. And I'm going to just give him some lips. Ooh, he has extra kissy lips on this one. I'm going to give some wrinkles on his lips. Okay, now that we have this, we can start building in his cheeks because we know where everything else is supposed to go in relation, okay? So I'm going to draw some cheek fur. Okay, I did one, two, three, four, five. And then I don't need that much detail, so I'm going to do some more spikes, but not so many lines. Okay. Then we're gonna go onto the other side of his head. We're gonna do a big swirl just to change up the shapes on our monkey's face. Okay. There. And then I'm gonna put a curve in there. Okay. Then we can do some of his cheek fur. Okay. Now let's tie some of this stuff together. Okay, so we're going to go back up to the head. And we need to do some more of these almost like feather-like lines. So I'm going to go up and make a, v, a little line and up and make a line and up and make a line up and make a line. I'll do one more. Okay, and then I'm going to put some more on this side. Okay. Then I'm going to connect this line to up here with some zig 
Zigzags. Look at that. Now at this point, we could even say that this is Sasquatch. If we just change the way we drew the body, we could make this look like a Bigfoot. I'm gonna add in some extra hair over here. Then I'm going to draw a line, a zigzaggy line all the way down to where it meets those cheek spikes on the other side. Okay. Then we're gonna make his head a little bit more pointy. He kind of, gorillas have kind of cone heads. Okay, but I want you to bring it down to around his chin and stop. So you can give him a bit of a goatee and then an overlapping hairy beard. Okay. So you take as much time as you need to do that. Okay. Then we're going to work on this one arm here. I'm going to make a big zigzaggy line that goes all the way down. Okay. Then I'm going to come to the other side like that. And then I'm going to connect the zigzaggy lines. And then I'm just going to kind of keep filling in these fake zigzaggy lines like that. Okay. Then we can put in one of his pecs, his pectoral muscles. Then we'll put his second pectoral muscle in there. Okay, then we're going to give him a big round belly over here. Okay, and then we're going to do that same zigzag thing. Like we did with the other arm. Just layers and layers of zigzags. Just like that. Okay. Now in the coloring book I have these little leaves. I'm not going to do anything with the leaves. Uh, we don't need those to paint. Okay, and then I'm just going to outline everything with marker. going to do is we're going to paint the background of our gorilla. Okay, so what you have this month is you have some black ink, some blue ink, some purple ink, and some pink ink. We are going to use the purple and pink for the background, the black and blue for most of the gorilla. Okay, so we need some water, we need your paintbrush. Um, now if you remember, you're going to just scribble or splash water all around your gorilla. like that. Then I'm going to take my pink ink and my purple ink. Okay. And I'm just going to give it some splashing. Oops. Make sure there's nothing else around you. Okay. I'm going to give it some outlining just to fill in some spaces. Okay, and see I'm just filling things in and scribbling around a little bit. I'm letting the pink take over. 
I think that'll be a nice contrast to how dark the gorilla is going to be. Okay, and then we're going to bring that purple in and make things a little bit more exciting. ahead to use my purple I'm just gonna splash my purple around a little I want to keep the purple away from my gorilla this time I want to kind of keep the pink nice and close just because it's a little bit brighter wash your brush. Uh, we have to let this dry before we can paint our background. Okay. So come back, watch the rest of this video when your background is dry and we'll need the blue and the black, some water and your paintbrush. Okay. Okay. So my background is mostly dry. I've got a little bit of a wet spot here, but I'm not too worried. I would suggest making sure that yours is completely dry. I know how to work with some of these messy areas. If you don't care, that's okay too. Okay, so my gorilla is almost dry. Um, I would suggest waiting till it's completely dry. If you're working on this at home, but I'm not too worried if a little bit of my background mixes into my gorilla. So I'm just going to keep going. Okay. So I'm going to start in his chest. I'm going to take just a little bit of water. I'm going to scribble in some water. That'll help spread around our color. Okay. I'm going to fill in this big round belly. Okay. Awesome. I'm going to just take the smallest amount of black. Okay, I'm going to start down here. Okay. And I'm going to just color in his chest. And you'll notice the black is a little blue. Okay, it's just sort of the way they make black ink. It looks a little blue. Okay, so it looks nice when we mix it with turquoise or blues, and it goes really well with our purples and pinks in the background. Okay, so I'm just going to start filling everything in here. Okay, and then I'm going to get lots of black on my thing, on my paintbrush, and fill in those thick lines. Okay, and the dot. Okay, then we're going to work on our arms next. I'm going to go and outline underneath the zigzags. Okay. And then I'm going to go and get some blue and I'm going to just blend it all in. Okay, and you'll notice some of my background's mixing. That's okay. You can get a little water to help you. I like keeping things a little bit lighter at the top than they are down at the bottom because that kind of shows that there's a shadow. Okay, and then I'm going to do the same thing over here. I'm going to start with the black. I'm going to outline underneath the zigzags. And see how I'm not even worrying about being neat because it doesn't really matter. Okay, that's what's so fun about these. You don't have to be neat and tidy, unless of course you're in a space that can't get messy. Okay, I'm going to take some blue and I'm going to just blend upwards through my whole arm and as I go I'll have less paint to work with and it will look a little lighter at the top than it is at the bottom. Okay, cool. And then we're going to do the same thing in his face. Okay, so a lot of his face is going to be blue. And then we're going to add little highlights of black to it. So just watch how I color things in. And nice 
on the light. I'm going to get a little bit of water here. Okay. Then I'm going to get some black. Okay, then I'm just going to take some of that black and brush it in over top of the blue, but just a little. Okay. okay, and there you got it. What do you think? If you want, you can add some of these blue splatters in the background. You could even do black if you really wanted to, just to be extra interesting to look at. Okay, but other than that, that's your painting. I hope you had fun. I hope you have someplace beautiful to put it. Please share your work when you're done. I'd love to see it. And enjoy the rest of our September barracks box. See you in October.